A number of South African legal bodies are concerned about the reported dismissal of Swaziland's Justice Minister and High Court Judge Thomas Masuku. The country's Justice Minister, Reverend David Matze, is believed to have been fired for apparently refusing to sign Masuku's dismissal order. Let's talk to Nicole Fritz, Director of the Southern African Litigation Centre. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us uh, this, this evening, in fact, uh, Nicole. What's your response you. to news of the judge's dismissal and, and indeed, uh, the, the minister's dismissal? Right. Uh, so, in fact, it's no longer reported. We've just had sight of the government gazette um, by which the king has ordered that um, Judge Masuku uh, vacate his office as, as High Court judge. Um, we are considerably alarmed at this turn of events. Um, judge Masuku uh, was charged with um, 12 charges of judicial misconduct. Uh, those charges were so spurious and unsub uh, so so unsubstantiated and vague as to give the impression that they were that they were spurious and um, uh, wrongly motivated. Um, and in fact, a number of those charges were abandoned at the hearing. Uh, Nicole, the hearing if I may come in there, what, what do you know what the nature of those charges was? We do know what the nature of those charges were, and, and several of them were, in fact, abandoned at the, at the day of the hearing because they couldn't be substantiated. So, for instance, um, some of those, uh, those charges were to the effect that um, he was uh, liaising with those who were seeking about, uh, to bring about unlawful regime change in, in the, the kingdom. Um, as I said, uh, that was not substantiated in any way and was abandoned. Um, he was... Um, also said to be uh, bringing about instability within the High Court. That also was abandoned. Um, and, the, and the charges that remained, I mean, for instance, that <clears throat> he had insulted the king by issuing a judgment um, in which he uh, used the, the phrase forked tongue. Um, in fact, read correctly was not an insult to the king and is not so serious that it, in fact, would um, allow for or warrant the dismissal of a judicial officer. Um, and, in fact, what we saw uh, during the hearing is a, is a chief justice who acted um, at both as accuser and judge um, who refused to, to allow the proceedings to be heard in public and who refused the opportunity for Judge Masuka's counsel to cross-examine the deponents to the, uh, the affidavits against him, um, such that they were. Um, and, and, and that is extraordinary. Um, in South Africa, for instance, we, we have a, a judgment on record which holds that any judge um, must be given the opportunity when accused of misconduct of cross-examining uh, the deponents to the affidavits against him um, and without such an opportunity cannot be dismissed. Um, um, Nicole, there seems to be overall dissatisfaction with Swaziland's ju judiciary, especially that Chief Justice that you spoke of a moment ago. Take us through that unprecedented lawyers strike that happened last week. Right, and uh, the, the, the lawyers are enormously dissatisfied with the, the Chief Justice. They, in fact, have submitted a complaint against the Chief Justice to the Judicial Service Commission, uh, alleging that the, the Chief Justice himself is responsible for judicial, judicial misconduct. Their unhappiness stems um, primarily from directives that have been issued by the, the Chief Justice. For instance, um, that no uh, High Court judge may um, hear a case unless it has been expressly allocated him by the Chief Justice. Now, in Swaziland, the Chief Justice, in fact, is not always in the country. Um, he, he sits on the bench in the Sutu um, and has sat on the bench in, in Botswana, which creates incredible difficulties if urgent applications need to be brought um, and justice needs to be immediately dispensed. Um, but it also has created this perception that, that cases are being allocated um, where they involve the government to judges who are inclined to uphold government's views. Um, the second directive, which created enormous controversy, is that flying in the face of established precedent, um, the Chief Justice held that the King's office could not be uh, either directly or indirectly the subject of any suit. So any person engaging in commercial transactions, for instance, with the king's office, and there are many, now has no source of remedy if those transactions are not adhered, uh, are not complied with. Um, and, and those were some of... I do apologize. We are running out of time here, but you have voiced your discontent. Is there anything you can really do from here to, to change the status quo in Swaziland? Well, I mean, in, in respect of Judge Masuku's dismissal, uh, that, um, that matter will be taken on, on review. Um, I do think that the, uh, the response from august legal bodies like the International Commission of Jurists, um, uh, there, uh, 
from sort of UN bodies, um, hopefully will allow the authorities in, in Swaziland to, to reconsider their, their decision, their actions taken, um, and, and look to sort of uh, ensure that justice is re-established. Re and that would mean uh, ensuring that Judge Masuku was reappointed in the judiciary, that one sort of retains a man of honor and integrity, and that you don't dismiss your Minister of Justice who acted on principle and refused to sign the dismissal order. Michael Fritz, you've put your opinion forward very, very clearly. Thank you for talking to us. Director of the Southern Africa Litigation Center, Nicole Fritz, on the line to us. Petro SA and China's leading state-owned petrol company, Sinopec, have agreed to work together. They'll focus on oil exploration in South Africa and more specifically develop a crude oil refinery in the Eastern Cape. As our Asia correspondent, John Bailey, reports, this